Hey everyone, Tim Clark here, and today uh, in After Effects, we're gonna take a look at a really cool new tool, kind of new at this point, ever since October of 2017. Um, there's a, a, a new tool. <laughs> Um, you can create null objects from path points. So this really just gives you a lot more control over animating paths. Um, and we'll take a look at the couple different uh, ways to implement that. So let's dive right in and take a look. Okay, so we need, first of all, a path to animate. So I'll just create a square here. And currently we don't have a path. We have to convert this rectangle path to a Bezier path. And now we have a path. So once you have the path selected, so this did not exist before, create nulls from paths. So we'll click that, it'll bring up this dialog here. You basically have three options here. So points follow nulls, nulls follow points, and trace path. We'll try out the first one here. So points follow nulls. So this is gonna create four nulls, I'll click that. There are our four nulls, and the points of our path, these four points are now gonna follow wherever we these nulls go. And each of these nulls has like position and rotation properties, which you can animate. So it, for example, if I move this null, the top right path point is gonna follow that null. So just really quickly, an example here is if I applied like a wiggle expression here and I applied it to all of them, we now have kind of a dancing square. And furthermore, you could, you can, you can animate them as well, of course. We could apply keyframes. And you know, maybe this dancing square is given a high five to another dancing square. Good stuff. So the other options in nulls following paths should be pretty self-explanatory. I mean, nulls follow points would do the same thing. It would create nulls, but they would be following the path points. And that can be useful because you can parent other layers and objects to the nulls at that point and get other objects following your path. Okay, so trace path is actually kind of cool. If I have a path and I create a square, I'll create nulls from paths and I'll select trace path. So at this point, we now have a null that is constantly tracing along this path. So it's actually automatically uh, keyframed and animated and then it has a loop expression going on to just keep it looping. So we could just haphazardly do this here. I'll grab my square and uh, I'll just parent it to the null. And now we can see that visually nulls are invisible uh, to start. So we can now see it's following the null. But what's kind of cool here is that I could delete these keyframes under, uh, it creates a progress property. So I could delete that and put that wherever I want. And this square will actually update. The null is actually reactive. Its position is reactive to based on how, however the path is animated. That probably doesn't make sense, so I'll just show what that means here. If I move this path around, that square is gonna stay attached to it in the same relative spot, no matter how the path is animated. It's always staying you know, close to the center. If I duplicated this square and I put this one here and then I moved my path, you can kind of see like they're sticking to it very nicely. So trace path is kind of a good way just to get nulls to stick to a path even when you're animating it. And it doesn't have to have that constant animation tracing action going on. That's just automatically applied at the beginning. And so that's it. Hopefully you can take that, run with it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.